Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today is just another vlog. Um, I am currently so hungry. I just did my makeup. I got out of the shower. I went to Pilates this morning. It is now 10, 10 a.m. So I am finishing up getting ready and I just wanted to show you guys a few of the whey products that I've been using. This is not sponsored, just I've been asked a lot of questions since posting them in like recent vlogs, they sent them to me. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little update. I like the leave-in conditioner. I put that in today and then I just brushed out my hair. I used just like a nice little wet brush. This one is the best one ever. I will link it down below. Um, today I'm gonna be trying out the wave spray. There's not really, let's see, direction, shake it up, mist, damp, or dry hair from root to tip for easy undone texture and enhanced natural waves. Or just hit the roots for extra volume. So, um, I'm going to try this out. Also, okay, question. I have the hair oil. So, it has no directions on when I'm supposed to, like, apply the hair oil, which I'm not going to do it because I'm doing the wave spray. But, like, I'm assuming you put hair oil on dry hair. Okay, so you work one to three jobs through wet hair and air dry. Smooth through dry strands after blowout to calm frizz. See, that's what I meant. So I'm not gonna put that on today because I'm gonna try to just do the wave sprays. Um, wave spray. So you can put this one on while it's damp though. I have my Dyson hair dryer that I got for Christmas. I've wanted this for so long. Um, I know it's expensive, but it also dries my hair really fast. And I feel like if you work out every day and you want to get ready quickly, I'm, I like hate drying my hair and I hate doing the whole thing. It's just awful. This is worth it. So I'll link it down below. I'm using a different head. I've never used this one. I always use the other one. So we will see what happens. I'll have everything linked below. Also, hi guys, I'm Kidzy. Um, if you guys are new here, subscribe. This one I think you're supposed to use more for curls, but my other one, I don't know. I'm just gonna spray this stuff and see. Okay, so I'm literally awful at doing my hair. So I ended up like switching the things as I was impatient and then now my hair is just like kind of honestly a mess. Um, I don't really even think it's the white products. I think I just like I don't know, like wave sprays have never really worked in my hair. Um, but like it does kind of just feel like I love way, but like I don't know. Maybe I should have just not dried it. Like, I don't really think I was supposed to do that. Anyways, um my hair is kind of messy, but I kind of want it to be like a little messy today, so we'll see as time goes on, like what ends up happening to it. It does actually just kind of have like a beachy feel to it. So I actually kind of do like it. Who knows what will end up happening. Anyways, I'm going to put my earrings on. I need a lip scrub really bad. I don't know how all of mine have since gone missing. Like, I know I had so many of them. Um, so, I need to figure that out. But I'm putting in my earrings. They're from Jennifer Fisher. I wear them, like, every single day. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? I wear them every single day. Um, oh, also, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prem. I wanted to bring you guys along because I'm using some new products. Um, I got this literally on Black Friday when i'm like afraid to Ooh, okay i got this as a gift with my black friday purchase and i just haven't used it yet so that's what i'll be doing right now so i'm gonna try it i know this is like really popular okay i don't like how you can feel it like the morphe one is like very light and it sprays evenly this one like i can feel the drops on my face which i don't love as much this one, I love it. It's only like $12. Very good. So anyways, I'm going to put all of my stuff away. My new products that I've been trying out. For my outfit today, my Levi's are like a little bit big right now. But I'm just wearing this like uh, Hanes t-shirt by Carla from Express, I want to say. And then I'm going to put on this cardigan, which honestly I forgot I even owned until very, very recently when I just did my huge college... Uh, when I just did my huge closet clean up, but this is just super comfy. I'm just working from home, doing school from home, going to the studio today, and then tonight, um, we're supposed to be going to squeeze to get massages, which is like my favorite thing ever. This is my outfit for today. I'm wearing my Ugg slippers right now. Um, how many times have I done an outfit of the day and I'm wearing these? Um, just for around the house. I don't have to leave until like two, but I have my Levi's. These are just the straight leg um, rib cage. I want to say they're my like some of my favorite jeans. These are my Goldie denim. They're my favorite. Um, sometimes I feel like these just fit me better than others. I feel like normally, I don't know how to describe it. My white t-shirt. This is old and it's from Urban. My normal jewelry. My hair. 
we'll just see what ends up happening. It really just kind of looks like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm like, it looks kind of frizzy, but like, is it supposed to be beachy? I don't know, guys. All right, guys, I just made coffee. Um, just bringing this back to your attention, if any of you guys are looking for new things to start in 2020, seriously, I'm so sorry my coffee machine's being so loud. I would really highly, highly recommend the Vital Proteins, Collagen, Peptides, peptides um, like powder in your coffee. Nothing makes my skin look better, ever. Like if I have any breakout, you're supposed to do two scoops, but I normally do like one or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but nothing makes my skin clear up. Nothing makes my skin more even, like seriously. I don't notice as big of a difference when I use actual like skin products. This is the best thing ever, so I'll have it linked down below, but seriously, the best. So I'm gonna eat breakfast at my desk, which is what I do most mornings. Um, I just made some avocado like toast on on some rice cakes, and then I just squeezed a lemon and put on nothing but the bagel. Everything with the bagel seasoning. That's what I meant. Then I'm having black coffee with my collagen. All right, guys. So time for us to have a little chat, life update, if you will. Um, today is a school day, and I am at home, which. It's not normal, um, but if you guys are not aware, I attended Zoe Leadership College, which was half, honestly, like 60% church internship, 40%, um, I'm making up this, like, these statistics in my head, it's like half church internship, half college, so it's accredited through Southeastern University, so you take all of your classes online through Southeastern, and yeah, it's a two year program, the like internship part is, but like a lot of people go for a semester, one year, three years, no one's gone through four years yet, but um, it's like really a two year commitment. Um, a lot, honestly, every single person is so wishy-washy, like people are very wishy-washy, so it just kind of depends. Um, yeah, so I just finished my two years and I was kind of going back and forth for forever on if I was gonna do another semester. I graduate, graduate with my bachelor's this year. I'm behind, so like the earliest I would even graduate would be this summer, so I wouldn't have even finished like this spring semester. But, um, yeah, it was honestly a really hard decision for me. I know this is like kind of maybe doesn't make sense to some of you, but um, my life before ZLC, first off, I just wanna say, ZLC was the best decision I could have ever made. I honestly think, I mean, it's up there with like starting a YouTube channel for me. Um, Obviously, there's gonna be bad things about anything and there's gonna be bad parts and there's gonna be things that are like kind of harder or whatever Especially when you're in like an intensive like internship for two years like you know what I'm saying Like it's gonna be like difficult, but it was oh my gosh Like my spring semester last year was literally my favorite semester of my entire life Like it was so so much fun. I met like my best best friends there for life like I have like leaders that I love and adore in my life. Like there's so many amazing things. I've learned so much like leadership wise and just like about myself and faith and like was like such a great decision. Like that being said, if you're someone who's looking into ZLC, like it is not a normal college university experience in the slightest and you're here to like build church. It's not, um, I think that like people go into it more of like, what can I receive? And like, you're going to receive a lot, but like, you're going to also do a lot. And I think you end up receiving and whatever. Anyways, I have a whole video on this. I don't want to go on, but it seriously was the best decision ever. And I loved it. So, and it also provided a lot of structure and comfort for me because it was really easy for me to just kind of like get in this routine and be around the same people every single day and etc. So I finished my two years this past semester. That was my fourth semester. And pretty much that entire semester, I knew that that was kind of like needed to be my last semester. But I was like, I don't know, like the program was, itself was changing a lot too. So I didn't want to make like an emotional decision. And I was so like, I want to do like what I feel like led to do. And I'm not going to make a decision based off of like what I want to do. And the entire time I was like, I honestly knew deep down that it needed to be my last semester and that that's what was happening. But I kind of just pictured that I was going to do another semester and do two and a half just to like do it, I guess. And my life before ZLC, I worked from home and I did school from home, which essentially is like what I'm going to be doing now. But I was so lonely. I was so isolated. I was also living by myself. My life was so different. I wasn't like plugged into like my community here. I wasn't like around family, like it was totally a different life. But for I'm just so afraid of like going back to where I was then, which obviously is not gonna happen. But I finally realized I was making every decision out of like a fear-based decision and I was only staying for comfort, not because I really felt like that's what I was supposed to do. So it was honestly like really hard for me. Like I've been putting this off like all semester and like really trying to like not even do it and whatever. Um, 
it was like a really hard decision for me to make and i know this like may not resonate with a lot of you guys because you guys are probably like oh my gosh school sucks whatever but like there's just so many people there that i love like they'll like i'm just there all the time like i'm not gonna have that for the rest of my life i mean i am but you know what i'm saying so it was just so fun like i just loved it so much etc but there's like a time and a place for everything and like that was my time i did my two-year internship and now i'm just gonna finish and graduate online through southeastern and keep all my classes and stuff but that is my little life update and kind of like the why behind it and everything but the best decision i ever made it was so good um i'm sure that i will miss it honestly i thought that i was gonna be like way worse off now but i think that the program like has set me up for success in so many different aspects of my life also I really kind of look at it, someone explained this as like, the, it's kind of like a life tithe. So they were like, it's kind of like, this was the foundation. Like I didn't want anything in my like career and all this stuff to get bigger without like having a stronger foundation. Um, because I was just like going crazy before. But yeah, anyways, this is a lot of like rambling. It was such a good decision. If you guys are looking into the program, highly recommend. Um, I think you just need to go into it knowing it's not going to be like just this normal internship it's a leadership college like it's like the internship college like you were gonna like work and do things and it's like the coolest thing ever it's so much fun like seriously it's so much fun i learned so much it was the best thing ever but yeah end of a chapter guys so crazy um obviously i'm still at zoe and stuff but i'm gonna have a lot of other life updates for you guys in the next few weeks so yeah basically as soon as i like stepped out and took that like active obedience so many other things have just lined up and worked out like my life in the past since thanksgiving break to now it's crazy the things that have happened and like that have like been like just set up i don't know just like it's crazy so obviously i'll be taking you guys along um but we'll talk about that in a few weeks anyways that is my little ramble as to um why i'm like not in school but i'm in school you know i'm an online school now i'm just not doing the internship portion but love you guys i actually need to log in it's my first day technically yesterday was the first day of classes but i need to log in and take them today so that's what we're gonna be doing i need to edit a video it's currently um 11 and i need to leave at two something to go to the studio so i have three hours to do a lot of homework and edit a video so hopefully that's enough but yeah i'm gonna eat breakfast and start on that Okay, it's currently 1.45, I need to leave in 15. I got a lot of homework done, and I made a video live, and then I finished editing another video. I'm having problems exporting it, so it hasn't been able to export yet, which is kind of super weird, but I'm about to head off to the studio. Okay, so I'm dressed, I've been dressed, but I just put actual real shoes on, and I have my bag packed for the studio. I just, I don't need my laptop today, my iPad Pro. All this stuff, just some books and everything. And then this is the bag I'm gonna take today just because it's super small and very convenient. I don't know why that's not messed or that's messed up. Um, I get all of my designer as of lately on like the real real or this Instagram like dreaming of designer. You get really good deals. Um they actually sent me this bag, which is so sweet of them. I've talked about them before. But like even that Fendi bag, my Louis bag, those are from the real real. Um I just like honestly buy them secondhand now and it is so worth it. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm in the studio. I just recorded a solo episode. It's a master list, so I'm actually filmed the whole video for YouTube too, so that'll be up in like two weeks. But we're at the studio. We're waiting on Nika. Nicole's here. Quentin's here. We're doing a double date episode. This will go up like Valentine's Day, and Quentin actually, he didn't mean to like write the outline, but he basically did, so he kind of did my job for me. And he was just checking it to make sure that it was right. <laughs> I missed a point that I needed. If my so. name's gonna be on it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, we just finished recording. It's dark out, finally. Here we go. Hey guys, so um, I've just been in the studio for the past couple of hours. I am so hungry because I was like, does anyone else do this when you're working from home or doing homework or something? You don't have an appetite and then you forget to eat, especially if I'm working from home. So I ate like half of a sweet potato before leaving because I was like, I'm not hungry, but I should probably eat something. Anyways, get to the studio, starving. So I recorded a solo episode that's like a master list for 2020. Um, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Um, and I also recorded it as like a video for my channel. So it's also coming to my channel and then there's a whole podcast on it. Right now, January, um, my podcast has really been killing it and not gonna lie because it's really great. New year motivation, all that stuff. But um, then 
Nico, Nicole, Quentin, and I just recorded a double date episode. You guys love Nico in on the podcast and Quentin, obviously. Um, I say like Quentin's like enough, obviously always going to be like the number one request in person. We will maybe I don't know why I'm so weird about doing a solo episode. Um, we'll do a solo episode maybe in the summer. Comment down below if you guys want that. I yeah, because like when we do it. Because, yes, like, okay, here's the thing. Let me explain this. Our, like, Quinton as my boyfriend is, like, online, yes. But, like, our relationship itself isn't really, like, online. Um, but I feel like that's just a more, like, vulnerable thing for me for some reason. You know? Oh, 100%. Does that make sense? Yeah. Quinton's obviously, of course, very down for it. But um, we're going to go to Veggie Girl because it just sounds so good. I'm so hungry. I really want... The sweet potato fries and the buffalo chicken. Did you do that too? I was like chicken. We both. Yeah. <laughs> um, Great minds. Yeah, it's so freaking good. Please don't let me forget to get validation. I always forget when I'm here. Um, but yeah. Anyways, it was good. I'm so hungry. Like, yeah. I just keep telling you guys how hungry I am, and that's kind of pointless. But we made it. Veggie girl. Here we are. All right, guys. I'm ready to head off. Um, I have my stuff packed. Here we are. I'm exporting a video right now, and then I have my purse. I'm always a friend who brings a Polaroid. That's literally on every Enneagram meme for type three. Is that? And that's me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon.